siku ya leo Jumapili ya leo ambayo Mungu amefanya kuwa ni Jumapili ya kusudi na wewe. Mungu hako na ibada na wewe siku ya leo. Mungu hako na mambo kadhaa anataka kuzungumza na wewe. Na amenitumia kama chombo chake jina langu the prophet bright kutoka kanisa la altar of god for all nations kitengela na ninakualika ujumuike nasi online mahali popote uliko na Mungu atakubariki basi moja kwa moja naingia katika neno la siku ya leo na mada yetu title ya siku ya leo ni hona hona the word hona ndio kitu ambacho nimetaka kugusia leo nataka Mungu adhirishe uwepo wake kuhusu jambo hili ambalo linaitwa hona Now let us go to the book of First Samuel chapter 2 verse 30. Samuel wa kwanza chapter 2 verse 30. The Bible says, Behold the days come that I will cut off First Samuel chapter Amen. Who despise me will be highly despised. Now God is speaking to us. I had gone to verse 31 which explains the things that are going to happen later. But in verse 30 God is speaking about honor. Now let us see the word honor. What is honor? What is to honor? To honor is to regard something in value, to respect, to acknowledge to know that this is something of uniqueness of skill so you are giving much respect to it that is what we call honor honor you don't equate what you honor to yourself honor is different when you have honor in you you will honor that person who is above you or that person whom you respect that person whom you value you will honor them For an example, if the president comes here, we shall honor the president because he is the president of the nation. If your father comes, we shall honor your father according to the value which is in him. That is your father so we can honor a parent. If another servant of God comes to the ministry, we honor them by either standing up or clapping our hands or bowing down to them or even kneeling to them showing honor showing respect we value you now the question is who do you honor who do you value in your life there are three types of fathers in this world god the father is your father number one. number two, we have your biological father and mother who the bible says in the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 12 that honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land in which God is going to give you now honor that is the second parent that God says honor and then there is another parent called the spiritual parent whom God has anointed to represent him here on earth and he is called your priest your spiritual father your spiritual mother these are parents you are supposed to honor you honor them because of things they carry in their lives amen yes. it doesn't matter how hallelujah amen. now this honor means to take things for granted you take things for granted you disvalue things you disvalue things you are dishonoring things 
yani hauchukuli kitu kikiwa cha dhamana you have dishonored that thing when you dishonor Failure, you will understand that that failure is traced back to dishonor. Anything you dishonor brings failure into your life. Why am I saying so? Because uh, if you read the principles of honor, honor promotes. So when you dishonor something, it downfalls you. Honor promotes. There was one king called Balak. Balak one day spoke to a prophet of God called Balaam and he went to him and told him I want you to cast a particular group of people and I will promote you in honor so Balaam told him Balak it is not possible because God has told me not to cast these people and eventually God if you read the book of Numbers, chapter 22, verse 17, you will find the story there. You will find that God refused that the children of that particular area shall not be cast. Honor is something very special. Honor is something very special. When you honor something, it brings back the reward of what you have honored. Check anybody who speaks wrongly about, let us even say a car. Whenever you see a car, you say, Honor waliyoiba pesa. Honor waliyoiba pesa NYS. Saiwa meiba pesa COVID. Yawa nendesha magari. A vehicle will never come to your life. Never. However much you pray, you have dishonored that blessing which God had sent to your life. Every time you speak ill about something, even a servant of God who is your spiritual father, you have dishonored like nothing can come to your life that is why i speak and say whenever you see somebody speak of any preacher wrongly walk away from that group walk away because you you are not the one who called the preacher whenever you see even a preacher downfall please pray for them because you don't know the grace that is operating in their lives amen so let us live in honor let us live in the principles of honor honor is something that is a spirit Proverbs 8.18 Proverbs 8.18 Let us go to Proverbs 8.18 And the Bible says Riches and honor are with me That is with God Yes, durable riches And righteousness God is trying to tell you That if God himself is a spirit And he says that Honor is with me That means even honor itself is a spirit So that means you have to tap into the grace of honor and when you are honored, nothing else. Honor is like fire. Honor is like fire. When you have fire, you don't announce yourself. Fire announces itself. I never have held a crusade and said, I am Pastor Bright. Now people come to me. I want to see if I can pray to God. Never. Everybody who comes to me is because of the fire. The fire announces itself. You don't have to announce. So honor is like that. When you are honored, when the spirit of honor comes to you, immediately people will start being drawn closer to you. That is the reason why you find in a country we have elections. And in every election period, we find that people campaign. All those campaign and aspirants, they are not called honorables. But immediately you get the seat and you are elected, either a member of parliament or a senator or a governor, or an, a, a president, immediately they give you a, a name and they say that this is the elect honorable member of so and so, such and such a place. They call you honorable because honor has already settled in. And from there, when you are representing that county, when you are representing the country, when you are representing the elective place, they will always call you Mweshimiwa. They will always call you honor. Honorable person. This is an esteemed honorable person. The Bible calls servants of God honorable. So the first people who you should honor are servants of God. They are called honorable, esteemed honorable members of the kingdom. 
And I don't know why <laughs> many people don't call us honorable. They just call us by our names. Prophet Bright, Pastor Bright, Evangelist Bright, Apostle Bright. They just call us that way. I've never heard, I've only heard one Nigerian guy introducing his spiritual father and saying, esteemed honorable father. I've never heard anywhere anybody saying, this is a honorable priest of God. No, I don't know why. I'm still in search of the scriptures. Hallelujah. So, the power that operates in honor is the same power that gives you riches. Because God says, riches and honor are mine. So, learn to honor. Learn to honor things. Even a glass of water. If you don't honor the glass of water in your house, your house will remain empty of no glasses. Why? Because these of glasses, it answer kufunjika zote. They will break one by one until you lose glasses. All your house things will be of plastic. I'm telling you the truth. Go and try and dishonor even a small thing. Go and dishonor what you, you, even a flask, a thermos in your house. Go and dishonor it. Dishonor and say, this one, I'm not washing it even for one week. I'm, I'm not going. One day you will put in it, it will burst. Because you have dishonor. Anything you dishonor, runs away from you. The biggest mistake Christians do, they dishonor even money. They dishonor money. They look at money and if somebody was to bless you with a lot of money, they say it's from Illuminati. Immediately you have spoken that, money runs away from you. What you dishonor runs away from you. Dishonor brings a spirit called the spirit of lack of development. It is a very wrong spirit when it attaches to you. It is a very bad spirit, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters. It is a wrong spirit. Let me explain myself. You will find somebody who has money in the bank. This person has saved a lot of money, but this person cannot buy even a shirt. They only have two shirts. Either a blue shirt and a green shirt. So this person has money in the bank, but they cannot dress up well. And every time you ask them, what is the, the problem? You have money, you can buy a shirt. They say that is waste of money. You can even take the same, same person to a hotel. You can take the same person to a hotel. Say, what will you eat? Say, bring the menu. And this person will look at the menu and say, hey, chicken and rice, 800. No, this is a lot of money. The money is not his, but he is already complaining. He, says, he will tell you, can, can we just have water? I know of a place where we can eat better. And you say, okay, no problem. Then he will take you backyard to a ramshackled kind of setup of a hotel. And they will, they, there in that place, it is better explained in Swahili. Let me explain it in Swahili. Asa hako kakichochora na kupitisha. Ndiyo utapata sasa. Huko ugali inachongwa na saani ya plastic. Chwe! Unawekelewa hapo, unawekelewa nyama tatu na sukuma. Na mtu anapita hapo, anatupanga kwa mesa na, na hiyo saani uwezi ambuka. Those waiters are experts. Anakujanga kama ametupa. Sha! Sha! Umesema nini? Sha! And then you find that Saani yako imetupwa na imekuja imesimama karibu na wewe. <laughs> na iko na supu na hiyo supu haimwagiki. Ina balance kwa hiyo saani na ugali. Alafu anapita hapo na jasho. Anaona ugali yako inaelekea kuisha na polisa. Nileta sosa. Anakuja na kata ingine shwa anatupa hapo. Sosa imekuja. Alafu hiyo ugali yote unalipa 70. Na kwa sababu unaona tumeshipa. This is somebody who development has run away from. You understand? Saving money is a good thing but you don't save foolishly you don't these are people i'm telling you who in their houses they will eat sukuma wiki from january to december they don't eat anything their lifestyle is of such kind when you tell them buy anything they can't but when there is a funeral at home that is where you will hear them speak. Mutasikia maambia watoto wake saba. We mubai mgo vizuri vizuri. Na mama ujitarishe. Upaki mgo saa watu. Tunaenda matanga ushabu. 
and you start wondering, ametoa wapi pesa? Si tulimuitisha nyama ya 150 hapa, akakosa kulete. Sasa saa hii pesa kwa na matanga imetoka hapa. This person is saving foolish. You understand? Kiatu ni moja tu, kiatu ni moja kama panya. Anapanga tu kiatu moja. Kiatu moja. <laughs> God have mercy. I'm telling you when development is not in your hands, you will know. Check, you are uh, most of the women who are in church, you have husbands at home. The only day you tell your husband, I need to eat meat. I nani kununua meat, anaenda kununua matungo. Wacha ni kwambia. Mungu akaambia Musa, wakati unapochinja mnyama, chukua matungo yake ukasike. Usikule. Ukiangalia science, matungo ndio kitu ambayo it does not add value to your body. Matungo it has no minerals, it has nothing. Matungo hii. Matungo, wale ambao elewi, ni mufuko ya kubebea mavi kwa mnyama. Ndiyo naitua matungo. Aleluya. Ile mufuko ya kubebea mavi kwa mnyama inaitua matungo. Sasa we wakati unapika, unasema ni meosha kapisa hii matungo. Unakula nini? Kula kinyesi cha mnyama. Aleluya. Na ndiyo sayo umekatakata kabisa unambia watoto. Mukule mumalise. Watoto wanangangana na kama tumbo. Na hakuna kitu inaongesa kwa mungu. Sayo ndiyo unasema tumekula nyama. We enda angalia. Enda angalia kwa kitabu ile hata ya watoto ile wamechora nyama. Hata ile kitabu wamechora nyama. Hakunanga matumbo hako. Kuna maini. <laughs> Lakini matumbo haikuangi hapo. Even kwa kategori ya nyama, meat, matumbo haiko. Sayo ndi unapata mzea na kuambia. Leo nime, nime, nimeenda huko, huko IPZ. Nimepata matumbo kubwa sana. Nimenunoe matumbo ya mbuzi. Sayo anakuambia matumbo na mbuzi ya kasangati. Anakuambia, hii ni kilo tatu. Nimepata na 300. Alafu unapuraia kama mama. Hai ni uliwe, wana, wana, wana. Hai ni uliwe. Sayo unaosha matumbo kabisa. Hii mecha hapo. Kinyesi na kuambia tu. Mahali zitu na endanga ni kwa kinyesi. Sasa ni mekuche. Nandio sayo umeimba kabisa. Hai ni uliwe. Nileteni sini matoto. Watoto nileteni sini. Nifinye namba ya pasta. Hai ni uliwe. Pasta. Wanaesa siviwe. Hagi leo niko na furaha. Muse amepatilika. Hame niletea matumbo. Leo tunakuna. Hallelujah. Sometimes you should live a standard life. Live a standard life. Nyama inapimo kwa butcher mbaka ya 50. Nyama mbaka ya 50. We unawacha nyama ya 50, unaenda kunua matumbo ya miyatatu. Na hiyo nyama ya miyatatu, inaweze katosha familia mzimu. Somebody who development is not in the right. Development has ceased to exist in your life. You will do things people will wonder at you. I used to have one friend of mine. And this friend of mine, we used to go to work together. At that time, I was still hustling. So we used to go to work together. Whenever it reaches lunchtime, this Kikuyu friend of mine used not to have money. Every time, even if you check him, he doesn't so he used only to have five shillings in his pocket. And sometimes we will even have mercy on him and pity so that we can buy him lunch. And we used to buy him lunch sometimes. And we will ask him, what kind of a kikuyu person are you? You, 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 are, you, are, you don't have money. Kikuyus have money. You, you are different. It seems like you are not kikuyu. He used to buy that five shillings he used to buy. When we don't buy him food, he will buy sweets. He will buy sweets and he's, he's always chewing sweets. And I will look at him for, for long periods of time and try to figure out, is this person normal? Because sometimes you can live with somebody and not understand if that person is normal or abnormal. 
So I used to stay closer to that person. I look at this person. Sometimes I could move closer to him and ask him, why is it that you don't, you don't eat? Is it that you fast? Or is it that you just don't like food? Sometimes we will even buy him food and he refuses. He will think it is a debt that he will pay. And it was from goodwill. And he was hustling like us. We used to go to Kaza Mujengo Bamoja. One day, one day, he did not come to work. We asked ourselves, what is the problem? First day, the second day, we decided, let us go to his house. Let us see. When we reached at his home, we found the wife and a committee of members. We asked, what has happened? He said, this guy died yesterday. Hey, he passed on. Yes. Hi. Too bad. This is something that, ah, we didn't know. Why did you not inform us? The wife was crying. And then all of a sudden, the wife started saying, you know, even if I'm crying, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Before he died, he disclosed to me a secret and a pin for the bank. <laughs> and I said, hey, so at least he left you with some money so that you can move on. Ah, it is okay. For us, what we shall do, we shall plan ourselves. We were about four guys who had gone to visit. So we said, we shall tell the other group of uh, people so that we can at least pay for your one, house, one month rent or two. So that you can at least stabilize. Because now you've been left with a child, one baby girl. So this is what we are going to do. The lady said, I don't need your money. I don't need your money. I have already checked the account. This person has left me seven million. What else do I need? Oh, we, we all, all froze into a particular moment of silence. <laughs> you, you are not told to silence for the dead. You silence yourself. You silence yourself automatically. I'm saying, hey, seven million in the bank account. And you are there, working with him in the same general. Oh. Do you know the conversation we were having along the way as we left? We were asking ourselves, why are you working with a thief? <laughs> now the conversations were changed. This is somebody we are not going even for the funeral Because we don't know if the government will also look for us. <laughs> and it's true. If you look at somebody, and he has seven million in the account, that person is not on. That is the reason why the spirit of lack of development comes when you dishonor things. It is not by its own way. How can you have seven million and you don't drive? You are a fool. You still walk on foot and you have millions in the account. You are a fool. Me, I don't even need. I started driving before I even earned a million. Immediately, I started receiving half a million. Car. I didn't want to know where a fuel was coming from. Buy car first. Let people know I also am in the category of people who own car. It was not a good car at first. It was a car I bought at 70,000, but it could move. <laughs> True. It was a Peugeot. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you it was a Peugeot. It was a very good car. I would move with it and say, this is where my, my father used to like Peugeot. Until that mentality of my father left me. And I say, people are buying good cars, automatic cars. Me, I'm still in manual engaging gears. I need to change. So I sold that car to my security guard at 140,000. That was the price. And the security guard, the day I sold the car to him, he gave me half of the money. I said, Father, I thank you because I retained my home. And then number two, after one week, he used to come, he's my watchman at the gate, but still he's coming with my pigeon. After one week, he gave me the other money. He said, we have been given in the charmer. So I'm giving you back that money. He paid me in full. The day he paid me in full, he resigned. He became the boss. He resigned. Honor. Honor. What you dishonor runs away from you. Then I added some money. I started buying a very good car. Then I went to another level, sold that car, bought another one. That way, until I started having and driving good cars, 
which were not family members. There are some cars which you buy, they become part of family member. Do you know that such kind of cars? You buy them, they become family members. Whenever your wife is calling you, where are you, sweetheart? You say, hey, hey, I am here at this garage. I have taken this baby to hospital. And it's a car. Every day, if you leave your compound and come back with that car, and you have no problems on the road, you come down from that car, you look around that car, and you tell God, the devils have left. Because every day you live with that car, it must have problem. You cannot live with that car from your house when you don't have money in the pocket. You already automatically know. This one, that is a family car. It has made itself part of the family. When you sleep, you are thinking of it. As you are thinking for school fees for their children, you also think of it. Now, that is something that is not right. You are supposed to sleep and ask yourself, until when? Then I started moving on to better cars. So nowadays when I sleep, I don't think about my car. I know I'll wake up in the morning, get into it, I'll start it and it will move. It is no longer part of me. It is part of my assets. Amen? So whatever you dishonor, whatever you dishonor, dishonors you. Because God says, if you honor me, I will honor you. If you despise me, I will despise you. So if you find yourself in a position where things are running away from you, ask yourself, how did you dishonor what is running away from you? Number one. Number two, ask yourself, whom did I dishonor? Whom did I dishonor? Because dishonor causes a lot of harm. Those who dishonor, check the lives of those who dishonor servants of God. Check their lives. They are always struggling. They are always struggling. You will never find a rich man despising a servant of God. Never. Even if they are not believers. But the poor people down here are the first ones to throw words and speak negative things about servants of God. And their lives never uplift. They are just... If you need promotion in life, learn to honor. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, Matthew, Matthew chapter 15, Matthew chapter 15, verse 4. For God commanded, saying, Honor your father and mother, and he who curses your, your uh, he who curses his father or mother, let him die of death. So there is another spirit called the spirit of death. So when you dishonor your father and mother, death comes to you. Death kills everything. Now, these are your physical parents. What about your spiritual parents? What about them? The day you start equating yourself to your spiritual parents, you are killing your, the grace upon your life. Because the spiritual father gives grace unto you. Because you don't tap into the things uh, of a spiritual father unless you are connected with him as a spiritual child. So whenever I decree and I declare some things upon your life, I am trying to release the grace upon me to work into your life. So whenever you speak negative upon your spiritual father, or even think negative upon your spiritual father, the grace is diminished. When the grace is diminished, the cover is taken off. When the cover is taken off, you start suffering. Any person who has ever been under a cover of a servant of God, and they left, their life starts suffering, until they find another spiritual father. Now, don't be somebody who goes from one person to another, saying, I have five spiritual fathers. That is called spiritual prostitution. You cannot have five spiritual fathers. You only have one spiritual father. But you can have even ten mentors in life. A spiritual father is the one who takes your time. He's the one who prays for you. He's the one who feeds you the word. That is a spiritual father. 
You cannot say I am in altar of God, but my spiritual father is my Catholic priest. It is not going to work. The cover that will be upon me will not cover you. So when diseases will come, they will knock you out. When accidents will come, they will knock you out. You understand? When anything the devil releases, because you are not under my cover, the will comes with you. It passes on your life. You need to find one spiritual father. Stay under the spiritual father. Don't equate yourself to the spiritual father. Honor your spiritual father. And you will see the blessings. A secret about spiritual fathers. Make them happy. If you have one spiritual father, make that spiritual father happy. Learn the things to make the spiritual father happy. One day I was seated somewhere and uh, I didn't know one of my daughters was taking photos of me. So one day I was scrolling my status on WhatsApp and I saw my pictures and she had posted my spiritual father. How do we love you? It touched my heart. I said, if she can remember me and she can even post me, people are posting their boyfriends, but this one is posting his spiritual father. He touched me. I called her and told her today I want to bless you. Why did I call her to, to bless her? Only her. It is because of what she had done. Make sure you 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 learn at least to make your spiritual parents happy. There is a daughter of mine whom Mama was asking in the morning. I, have you seen her the whole week? And I said I've seen her only once in the week. Asked about her. It's because she brought Jewish here sometimes. She brought Mama some nieces, and I, I, I was monitoring and saying, God, if there are people who can bless me, Father bless me. That is the reason. When you touch the prophet, when you touch the heart of a servant of God, they put you closer to the heart. When they, whenever they put you closer, the spiritual realm, the spiritual atmosphere around them automatically starts manifesting in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Respect your father and mother. Respect God. People have taken their respect away from God. Please learn to get your respect back to God. Give God respect. Don't joke with God. God is not a joker. And the devil is not a joker. So you have to choose one side and not be a joker. God far more than you can ever respect anything. Far more. If you notice that there is something you value much more in your life, try and push that thing away from yourself. It is a demon trying to hold you captive, not to have a connection with God. Because most of the things Christians are praying for, they would have received them long time ago just by having a relationship with God. But for now, people are not having that relationship. That is why you are praying and there are no answers. That is why you keep on fasting and there are no answers. We need to learn from God. We need to learn from the principles of Jesus Christ. We need to learn from the Holy Spirit teaching us the way to go. Amen? Amen. Today, this is my plea to you. Learn to honor. Learn to honor. Learn to honor God. Learn you it is foolish you are taking a girlfriend to a nightclub and your parents are sleeping hungry at home your wife is telling you i am sick i need to go to hospital and at the same time you you are enjoying yourself in your machoma somewhere you don't honor your wife you don't honor your family you don't honor your children It is very wrong. Let me tell you, the spirit of development, when it runs away from you, you will have money. Lakini watoto wako watasoma kwa shule za matope. Zee, si meja kuhuni. Unapeleka watoto shule ya matope meja kuhuni. Na wako na pesa, naza peleka matoto shule ya matope. Hallelujah. Let us live in the kingdom of God, knowing what we are doing. Let us not live blindly.
Let us not live according to our own ways, but according to the Spirit of God as He leads us. Amen. God bless you. Stand up on your feet. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you to glorify your name. Jehovah King of Glory, we pray even for the viewer that wherever they are, may this message touch them. Let them learn again to honor you. Let them learn again to bless your holy name. Let us, let, let us all learn that, Lord God, it is about honor. My Father, thank you for the promotion that comes with honor. My Father, thank you for the spirit of honor upon our lives. Thank you for correcting us where we have gone wrong. My Father, may you touch the viewer, the Lord God Almighty. Let this honor come into their hearts. Let this honor bring forth fruits that are tangible as testimonies into their lives. Father, we thank you and glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom.